The council-owned lines company Orion has been accused at the High Court in Christchurch of obstructing the investigation into the cause of the 2017 Port Hills fires. 80 claimants who suffered property damage want $10 million, alleging negligence by Orion and the Christchurch Adventure Park. Opening the group's case, Craig Stevens said the Early Valley fire was started by molten metal from a faulting power pole falling onto tinder dry grass. He says Orion's replacing of this pole just three days later and its failure to retain crucial parts of it obstructed the investigation. It destroyed the area of origin. It uh, disposed of the vital artefact of the expulsion dropout fuse. And, Your Honour, that to lose that, it had to be unscrewed. Mr Stevens says despite one of its own electricians believing a fault could be to blame, the company insisted on pointing the finger of suspicion at Ken McKenzie, the owner of the property where the fire started. But Orion persist with this outrageous or hurtful slur is only, we say, to deflect the evidence which will show that it was Orion, not an arsonist, that caused the outbreak of the Early Valley Road fire. The owners of the Adventure Park, a top attraction for mountain bikers, are also being blamed for helping to spread the second fire at Marley's Hill, four, kil- four kilometres away. This started 90 minutes after the Early Valley blaze. Mr Stevens says the park continued to run its chairlift, dropping burning plastic from the chairs onto the ground. He said this led directly to the fire, which until then was contained, roaring up the hill and damaging homes on Worsley's Road. In the space of a few hours from when the Adventure Park's outbreak occurred on the Wednesday afternoon, Cecile Grace had lost her recently repaired home. All of their family memorabilia, and apart from some limited clothes, the only thing they had time to grab before literally running for their lives was a photo of her late husband. Lawyers for the two defendants are due to open their cases tomorrow. A visit to the scene of the fire will happen on Wednesday. The trial is scheduled to last nine weeks.